he starts the movie off, no dialogue, running into a crowd of, what, a thousand, two thousand? That's poor, the Royal Rumble part, man. Yeah, man. But what do you think, man, of both his intro and then Beams, who elements water, fights a freaking tiger, like... <laughs> and running away from a wolf. He is yep, yeah, man. Standard, standard behavior. Um, yeah, I thought Raju's opening entrance was just mind-blowing, to be honest. Like, he was just standing there stoically. He gets an order from his British, like, police boss person. And just jumps over the fence and fights like a thousand people to get to the guy he's meant to arrest. I could not believe what I was seeing, to be honest. Like, is he seriously doing this? Is this what this movie is doing? That they're going to somehow make it the case, believably, that he's beating up a thousand people to catch this one guy in the crowd. And it did it. And it was completely compelling. Like, the guy is, you know, expertly using his baton to, like, Mm. you know viciously beat up everyone they're piling on him like all these bodies and he's like throwing them off and like it it was incredible man like it genuinely blew my mind and i was watching this with my wife and she was just like i've never seen anything like this before (laughs) and i was actually just like blown away by by it once you get over like this little bit of the ridiculousness of it and just give yourself to this film i think there are a lot of scenes like this where you're just like jaw drop as yeah. to what is going on, and like that—that that is perhaps the peak of those scenes because oh. it's unbelievable. Yeah, but it just immediately captures your attention. And then the yeah, entrance for Beam as well. I didn't really understand what he was doing with the chasing of the wolf and mm. the tiger at the start. <laughs> it became clear later, but that was also amazingly done. Like the you know lion and the wolf are moving like with such like speed and it felt real even though you knew it was CGI. It's just brilliantly done, I thought. And like the intensity of these fight scenes, like they could be done in a corny way, but somehow they just felt really authentic and they were just done with a straight face. And I think that elevated this film so much, but like immediately captivating, man, like draws you into that story. If for no other Mm. reason, then I can't believe what I'm seeing. I need to keep watching. Yeah, man, for sure. No, you, Exactly the same feeling. Like this is like what minute fifteen or minute ten. Like, yeah. And this is what we're seeing. Like for a movie that's like three hours something. This is how this movie starts. Like, how are they going to top this? <laughs> yeah. Like, but man, they don't even. They don't even have to try. It feels like to top this because they do it so easily. But <laughs> my god, man, the way I love the way that they shot these scenes. You know, like they had these. Like, I still remember quite a few of them. Like, I think there's a scene where, like, Raju is, like, stuck between, like, all these guys and they're covered over him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he pinches, like, like someone's ear. He pinches someone's ear and he turns to the Hulk and just, like, blasts them all away. He's jumping, like, at ridiculous heights. Um, You know, the other scene, like, like, I think it's Beam. He's, like, he's captured the tiger, but then, you know, the um, trap breaks and he's holding it down by himself. He's holding the weight of a tiger. (laughs) That is out of control. Yeah, like it, it, was, it skirts that like realism versus them almost having superhuman strength like pretty yeah, yeah. well. Like they are for all intents and purposes superhuman. Stop, because yeah, no man. one else can do do what they're doing. But it's yeah. kind of grounded in reality or tries to be. Yeah, yeah. No, it did. It sets up because I did honestly. I'll be. I'll be transparent. I watched this a few times. I'm not gonna like like I watched this only once. It was too good for me to just watch it once. I was so blown away. <laughs> um, but essentially, it does set up a few things. Like it showed like. Beam is more about sort of strength um, and like, you know, just grit, whereas Raju is a bit more strategic. Like he has to like, you know, get through a whole bunch of people and use some different tactics yeah. to get through it. So intense in different ways. But yeah, yes. man, this was, man, if a movie starts like this, like, you know, I, I, I definitely felt the same way your wife did when that came out, man. It was like, holy crap, this is what we're going to get into? Is this what this movie is about? All right, buckle in. Like, I mean, yeah. I wanted to ask you a question, man. Would this, uh, would RRR be more like a Royal Rumble or would it be more like a Hell in the Cell? I think it depends on what part of the film you're talking about. Like mostly Mm. it's a Royal Rumble because there are so many people (laughs) at any given time. Actually, it is almost entirely a Royal Rumble, especially the earlier scenes. 
except it's not 30 people. It's like a thousand. <laughs> oh my God. A thousand people Royal Rumble. That's exactly how this movie <laughs> felt like, man. Um, I just thought like hell in the cell because it's so intense. Like that's true. Well, Rumble sometimes, you know, someone runs in and they get, they get thrown out straight away or something like that. But Hell in a Cell is just like in your face, nonstop. And I don't know how it's else better to describe. I don't know how else better to describe this movie, man. Because, poor oh boy, you know, no holding back. It was one hell of a, one hell of a ride, man. It was one hell of a ride. This is, yeah, man. yeah Hell in a Cell is appropriate for the brutality and just the intensity of it. To me, this is one of the most unique dance sequences I've ever seen in any ah, film. Okay. But what yep. but, but what was your take, man? Because you're not so familiar with sort of music and no. dance in movies. So what was your take? I mean, controversially, or maybe not controversially, I might say that this could be my favorite scene in the entire film. Mm. I yeah, liked no, it not, that man. much. I liked it that much because firstly, I didn't see it coming. Like maybe yeah. I should have, but it was so well done. Secondly, the dance told a story or like it was, yeah. again, another mechanism to show kind mm-hmm. of the British fighting against kind of the, the revolutionaries, I guess. And it was another way to showcase that conflict without them fighting one another in a physical sense. And then secondly, I just thought the dance sequences on this were amazing. Like, yeah. first of all, I'm blown away by these two actors who, you know, not only are they massive tanks and would have done amazing yeah. feats of human, like, prowess to be in this film they are great actors and then they can dance amazingly cool. well as well like how many hollywood action stars yeah. do you know that can do that like maybe we don't see it enough but i can't tell you can vin diesel dance like this i think I've, not. Have you not seen have you not seen john travolta in pop fiction like- <laughs> <laughs> that is a good point only he <laughs> could compare only he could compare <laughs> Uh, but I was just so blown away by this dance sequence. I thought it was fun, so full of energy, um, brilliant colours, told a really like cute story as well in terms of the romance yeah. between Beam and Jennifer yeah, yeah. Um, and was just, yeah, done so well. And one of the other things I appreciated was I felt like the film gave time to appreciate the dance. Yeah. Like it, it was a fairly long dance sequence, right? Yeah. And they spent time like legitimately focusing on Beam and Raju as they danced yeah. and then went to the British as they did their little dance thing. And you can see one another in the background, them watching one another dance as well. Yeah. So it felt like a <laughs> massive production, right? Like Definitely. it wasn't just someone dances for two seconds, it cuts away to someone's reaction and then the next dance step. No. It was like, no, here's these two guys dancing for a while. British people are watching then the Brits dance and everyone else is watching. So I just thought like yeah. the whole filmography of that was so well done and really so well done. showcased brilliantly the, the dancing and the talent of all yeah, of these man. cast members. And it was just a catchy song. So oh. like you can't you can't complain in any respect with this. No man. I think you brought up a good point about advancing the romance. It also advanced the sort of, you know, their sort of friendship and all that stuff as well. I felt, you know, True, the, yes. the chemistry. Yeah. And yeah, man, you talk about these actors. I was, you know. I was going to bring this up sometime, but these guys are freaking incredible. Like the one, the chemistry between them was so, so freaking good. I've, it's one of the you know best duos I've seen in a very long yes. time. I can't remember, you know, too many actors being this much aligned and that dancing summarized it so well. Cause I watched that scene so many times now and I watch it and I watch them dance. They're in sync, like not a step off, like, and the complicated moves, they're moving, moving it so fast, so fast, and just the moves are all synchronized. It was like so impressive. I was so blown away. No, honestly, if you say that's your favorite part of the movie, I would not. There's nothing controversial about that at all because it was so amazing. Um, yeah, the song was awesome. It was um, definitely great. One thing I have to say though is I've seen normally dances like performative. It's like you know we've seen so many dance offs in like you know, dance movies for Hollywood and stuff like that. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, they're normally, like, competitive in some way. I've never seen any dance in any movie be a test of endurance, which this one. <laughs> yeah, <good point. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This was, like, a dance to the death. <laughs> you can stand up the longest. You can dancing. stand up the longest. Yeah. Oh, man. It was it's oh, such a powerful scene. Um, I think yeah, when that's... you brought it up that, you know, it continues the story along. 
it was this was a this was an epic scene, man. <laughs> this was. I'm trying to. I can't even rank these fight scenes because they are all yeah, so yeah, yeah. amazing in their own way. But this one with the animals running right yeah. over the British fortress, <laughs> like you know, tearing into the necks of British soldiers. Yeah, yeah, like it was just so brilliantly done in the firing, casing everyone. And is this the point where Raju realizes who Beam is? Yes. As well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the there's flaming, that emotional. Comes in with the yes. flaming chariots. Oh my god! <laughs> there is so. Uh, the, some of these scenes could actually be iconic. I think in their own way, yeah. right? Like Beam jumping out of the truck with the animals, kind of yeah, going behind definitely. him. Is it's pretty amazing and then running over the roofs and like trying to find yeah, yeah. uh Mali or Malu I forget her yep, name. Mali, yep. but yeah just just so well done like it is another one where you're just kind of jaw dropping action sequence yeah, and you're yeah. just wondering what's going to happen next again so yeah amazing sequence man like did not see yeah, this coming they... and for it to happen in the way it did yeah man they didn't hold back either right like my god like they just showed like a deer just run through some dude and get his horns into people they threw they threw like tigers at people um surprisingly gory of, this film yeah yeah man they didn't hold back at all which i appreciated like you know if it's gonna be yep. this kind of raucous kind of movie then yep. you know don't hold back don't don't give me something that's you know tame at this point after you've shown me everything like yep. as we said like yep. because the movie sets up with such craziness it has to just keep continuing along those kind of lines. And it Blade, definitely yeah. does. Um, but yeah, man, this scene was, I don't know if this scene was, this scene might have been my favorite scene because it was just, yeah, okay. I think it was just like, it just changed the whole tone of the movie. And they do some things like, yeah. there's some pretty cool shots I've got to say in this. Like you mentioned the one about, um, you know, being jumping out of the truck on the side and the animals jumping out with him. Pretty cool despite the CGI. But um the other one, like I think when Raju comes in and I think the horses are released and the chariot like hits something and it just falls and it's just him, his face and the flames over him. And he's just oh, walking like yes. it's not even it's not even slow motion. It's like just it's not exaggeratedly slow. It's just a little bit slow and there's just a silence and it's just like about to hit and then bang. Just you know That's it, just like the tension, yeah. But there, but there was, but there was a bit of this, right? Like with the whole um, Ram Sita story. Um, oh, 100%, yes. Like, how did that work? That is how, straight up from mine. How did that work, work for you, man? Like, did you feel they did it well? Because like... I, I'm, I haven't watched too much Indian cinema, as I mentioned before. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know how common this kind of heroism type thing is mm-hmm. and likening people to gods. But there's definitely, yeah, the Ram Sita thing is huge. Yeah. And there's even, I think, in the final sequence where Raju is dressed up like Ram, Rama, right? Yes, he's yes, got the bow and right. arrow and he's got the like hair in a particular way. The long and hair. the like um and the long and the pants as well. It's very like symbolic of Rama, I guess, from the Ramayana. Mm. And even um Beam, whose name is very similar to Bhima. I'm not yep. sure if you like know of the Mahabharata and stuff, but he is yeah, basically yeah. like the most powerful of the five brothers who take on yep. the evil evil brothers right um and he is the son of the wind god i think it is and he's right. yeah got the power of, like he's meant to have the strength of like a thousand men basically which is a hundred percent what beam is in this film so yeah. i felt like there's definite religious connotations and i don't know what to make of that exactly like is that kind of sim- equating humans to religious figures common in mm. kind of Indian cinema, because it would be pretty unusual for that to happen in Western cinema, like someone being yeah. equated to Jesus, <laughs> unless it was done in a joking way or it was a biopic yeah. of Jesus in some way. Yeah. But it would be kind of a bit of a no, no-go zone, I think. But yeah, yeah. it really leaned heavily into the religious connotations yeah. here. Um, I do know that these two characters are based somewhat on real-life yeah. people maybe, so yeah. maybe they were religious and I don't know they're mm. paying off homage to that but i did find equating humans to religious figures interesting not sure exactly yeah. what to make of it but no like indian cinema in general does have a strong like influence especially of hinduism um, mm. and others like there's you know um you know like islam and stuff also is influencing the music sometimes yeah like, there's some beautiful ballads and stuff like that yep. that's there as well so it is a big part of indian cinema which i think what this was for was because i guess 
they're in a challenging situation. They're in a challenging situation a little bit because you know this is. I guess when people see this, they'll compare it to Hollywood blockbuster. Mm. Like you know, I compared it to a few. Yeah. So I think they don't want to necessarily. They want a part of you know the Indian culture to be somewhere in the movie. Mm. You know? And yeah, there is a whole revolution part, but I think this is a bit more tied to the heritage and the history. Um, mm. Because religion is tied into history and tied into culture mm. um, quite strongly in India. It's yes. pretty strong there. So I didn't mind it too much. Like I think there was even the jewelry and stuff like that. Wasn't it like Sita gave some jewelry to Hanuman or something to return? There yeah. Some parts like that. And I thought Bean yes. was a super strong dude. So he was meant to be Hanuman as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think they're, like, related. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah right. uh, so Hanuman and Bhima, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So there's some parts of that. I honestly didn't mind too much because it's such a challenge. How do you how do you make religion cool, basically, you know? <laughs> like, like yeah, how do you yeah. kind of make it cool? And they did that in a pretty decent way, which wasn't in your face too much. I think if you don't know anything about this, it's just yeah. like, oh, okay, cool. He's dressed up like some cool god-like imagery, figure. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. cool imagery. Um, so I didn't mind that too much, man. There's nothing like this in terms of the sheer creativeness and willingness mm. to be 100% committed to the vision. I feel like most films now, in terms of action films, they don't go as far as this film goes. Yeah. And the action sequences are quite formulaic. You know what you're going to get. There'll be mm. some punching, some fighting, and you know that kind of stuff. But they yeah. don't have the level of inventiveness that this film has. So like, uh, th- this is completely unique from my mm. perspective, and it will be unlike what people are used to from an action film. What about like um like Mad Max Fury, Fury Road and stuff like that? You've seen those movies, right? Yeah, I've seen that. Does that have kind of the insanity of this or just the sheer like mm. craziness in terms of action sequences? I it can't might. remember that movie so well. I did love Mad Max Fury Road, so mm. it, it might well have had some kind of insanity like this but i just thought as a whole and i guess this film also has the benefit of almost like switching between genres right it has the dance and the funny comedy side to it it's got the deep like meaningful part or the drama part to it and then it's got the insane action as well and a bit of romance thrown in so to be able to melt all of those into one film and do it cohesively again i feel is like a pretty unique exercise and to have pulled it off again an amazing feat yeah, you're right. Like, I think when I think of action movies, like, this was one dimensional in some ways, but it did have enough mm-hmm. elements of the others yeah. to keep me interested. I think it yeah. was just, if it was just full on just action, I would have been like, all right, yeah. it's a cool action flick and it has some cool scenes, but yeah. there's nothing to tie it together. And yeah, it's sort yeah, of yeah. not keeping my interest because they're fighting for what reason? At least they had some reason to do what they were doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, there was um, some, and even the romance with like yeah. uh, is a beam and Jen- Jennifer, like that Jennifer. was kind of sweetly, yeah. yeah, like that was sweetly done. Like they invested a bit of time in it. It had some funny yeah. moments in there and some cute moments. Like it, yeah, it, it was better than your ordinary action romance where just some mm. you know buff okay. dude meets an attractive girl and like yeah, yeah, yeah. they immediately fall in love. So I, I yeah, thought no. it had some decent elements to it that. Yeah, it's just yeah. unique to get all of those that mix right. Definitely no. I thought she was great as well. I don't know anything about her, but you know, played a really sort of, you know, in the again, each sort of role mattered in this movie. So hers as well. It was kind of a nice little romance they had. It was pretty genuine, I felt. Like he wasn't Yeah. You know, like he wasn't even though he's a macho guy, he's got a real soft side to him, which they keep showing yes. him, even through that sort of yes. side. He's innocent, whereas Raju is a bit more um, you know, well versed in things. Yeah, things like, like those British society and how to like be yeah. around women and stuff, and it's like coaching him. And yeah, exactly like right. It, yeah, it, it, it was pretty sweetly done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just nice, man. Overall, yeah, no complaints. I'm a big fan of this movie. I think I hope it's going to be something that we're going to see more of Indian cinema because I would mm. love that. I think there are a few more because they've just after this, you know, sort of like you know, uh, like I don't want to say it's like this movie, like the show at all, where like Squid Game was you know huge for. The Korean cinema, this this yep. this could start to put some ripples into the world of you know Indian cinema, because yeah, this is quality wise, you know, there's nothing to complain about. It's on par with anything else that I've seen. That's right, and you know, I wonder if it if Hollywood will kind of take notice and mm. be like, hey, look at what these guys are doing. It's obviously working with Western audiences as well, right? Because yeah. it's kind of become popular in yeah. you know America and around the world, so. 
I wonder yeah, if definitely. Hollywood will look to it and be like, hey, yeah, what are they doing so well here? And yeah. What can we take from it? Yeah. Something fresh, right? Yeah, no, it's definitely yeah. made waves um, beyond just Indian cinema. Hence, like, you know, we got to know about it. We're not, I do watch Indian cinema, but it's not so much. I watch a little bit. But the fact that we both knew about this movie outside of mm-hmm. that, it's just like, you know, it's it's doing something right. That's right. Transcending. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Did, yeah, man. So I guess that's basically it. Did you have any final thoughts or all good? No, nothing for me. Oh, good, man. Well, we hope you enjoyed that. That was a crazy accelerating ride. I feel like I've just gone on the ride again. So, you know, <laughs> got to uh, just calm down a little bit. But <laughs> 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 well, like always, man, always a pleasure having you, Sonny, and great chatting Thanks movies. Thanks for having me, man. We will chat again soon. See you guys. See you guys.